Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at using a free software called uh, WaveMaker. Uh, it's a novel writing software, but we're going to use it to uh, create a uh, report or uh, an argument paper, like how uh, you would hand in. Um, uh, so we're going to use it to organize uh, our thoughts and uh, uh, and then move on from there to uh, generating a uh, PDF uh, suitable for uh, giving to a client or a professor. Uh, I hope you'll forgive my budgies. Uh, whenever I'm talking, they enjoy uh, including themselves in the uh, conversation. Sorry about that. Anyways, let's go to the desktop. Here we go. So, WaveMaker. Is that WaveMaker? Dot co dot uk. And if you open this website in Chrome or Chromium, uh, you will have the option of uh, get the app. Uh, in Chromium, it doesn't always show up here, so you have to go up to your uh, menu, and then I believe it's under more tools, uh, you can, uh, it will say uh, get the app or it might be under more tools. I can't remember, it's been a long time. Anywho, uh, when you have the app, or uh, if you just want to use it online, you can click here. And here you can see I have a couple of things started. Okay, uh, it maintains a database on your computer. Uh, you can also uh, sync to uh, Google Drive and uh, I would recommend doing this if you're going to be writing on multiple devices. So say uh, you want to uh, fire this up uh, at work or at uh, school and continue on with the work that you've been doing at home, uh, you can uh, sync up to Google Drive. The thing to remember is that uh, its database is uh, very simple, like uh, it will not merge. So uh, if you've um, written stuff at work uh, and then written something else at home and then you uh, upload the uh, like sync up to uh, Google the latest sync up will uh, overwrite the previous one so if you wrote uh, paper A at work and uh, forgot to sync up and then you write paper B at home and then sync up when you get back to work and uh, uh, sync up to Google Drive, it will erase paper B and paper A will be available. So always when you start uh, WaveMaker, sync down so that you have all of your latest stuff and when you're done using WaveMaker, um, WaveMaker sync up. Uh, WaveMaker is available as an app on iOS and Android as well, so uh, if you want to fire up your tablet or your phone and uh, continue writing, you can do so. So it's very handy so long as you have Google Drive. I'm already signed into Google Drive, um, but uh, before you can uh, sync up, you have to uh, sign in. So, um, and here's a couple of uh, safety measures, a full database backup and a full database restore. Okay. And, um, oh yes, uh, you can also import a uh, project. Uh, so you can save individual uh, projects to your hard drive and then import them back in. So let's uh, start a new one. I'll say create a new project. And I will say test. And I think we just want empty project. Yeah, these are all um, uh, these are all book writing. So, oh, excuse me, I need some coffee. Okay, so here we have your story. I'm going to change this to um, my report. Okay, and uh, from here, I'm going to uh, add a new child. Uh, so here, I'll do it using the, uh, uh, the menus. So I'll add a child, and I'm going to say uh, intro. 
and then I'm going to add a sibling to that saying um, I don't know uh, yeah I'll do it this way arguments and then whoops that was supposed to be that was supposed to be there there we go you can drag and drop things um, and now for this I'm going to add a sibling to this saying um, conclusion so here I am on intro and I can type away here or I can pretend that this is a uh, file folder so I'll uh, do uh, typing here uh, so this is my I'll just say special report and then we'll go heading and we're back to normal paragraph now if you have the Grammarly extension uh, installed and you want to use it the unfortunate thing is I go like this and it does not show any of the Grammarly stuff, although it's still there. So if you want to uh, see what you're doing, you can go to uh, <clears throat> Distraction Free, which is on the far right. And then click in here, and you can see Grammarly Startup. So uh, let's get rid of this. And then I'll say my name is Dave. And here okay so that's how that's done. Um, this program is the work of a, a single um, programmer and uh, it still has some hiccups. So uh, sometimes I've noticed uh, when I get out of distraction free, some of my markup uh, disappears. So here, for example, uh, that last uh, period is not erased. And in fact, uh, <laughs> all of the stuff, uh, I think you have to be on a, a new line before it takes hold. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'll put, uh, introduction and uh, when you're in this phase don't worry about formatting uh, the worst thing uh, I'm an editor a freelance editor and I see authors all the time do all sorts of formatting and they're not terribly familiar, uh, familiar with the uh, software so uh, things turn out to be a mess so at this point just write and uh, here I put a, uh, a title at the top. You don't have to. I put introduction here to be a, um, a subheading. We're not going to use WaveMaker to uh, format the report. We're going to use uh, LibreOffice or Word or uh, whatever uh, software after the fact and then use that uh, to generate a uh, PDF. So uh, in uh, the introduction, you would have an uh, overview of, um, uh, I don't know, circumstances and arguments, and uh, pretend that that's actual content. Here, uh, let's expand this. I can see um, the basic skeleton of my uh, report. But here, I'll go to the planning board, and here is my different sections. So under arguments, uh, let's say that it's a um, uh, considering a piece of land for uh, development. Uh, I will say that um, <laughs> and uh, I'll just say that it's a, a scene card. Uh, the cards don't actually matter here. I'm making a, 
uh, notes. So uh, arguments are um, the land uh, is very good for our purposes. And I'll say the zoning needs to be changed from residential to mixed residential and I don't know um, uh, need to do a environ environmental assessment Okay, so uh, here we are. So this are just spitballing. Let's go back to uh, writer, and I can close this part here. But here, let's uh, address the notes. It says that there's notes here. So let's in this, when I have this guy highlighted, I'm going to say add a child, and we will say uh, land is good. Now I don't particularly need to do these, uh, sorry, I'm pointing at the screen, notes uh, <laughs> over here. Uh, we can, in fact, uh, structure our argument uh, uh, using the actual document structure, but if you want to uh, have uh, additional notes uh, uh, that uh, uh, need to be addressed uh, later on or ideas that you don't want to forget, you can uh, add a note. So my uh, planning board here are in fact just notes that show up here. When I add a note, it adds uh, to here and also to the planning board. Uh, there's also a grid planner, uh, mind maps, um, timeline tool, which uh, is great for novels, but not so great here. And uh, then the export. So grid planner, I haven't really used. Yeah, I'm not going to tackle that now. So, uh, sorry, let's take a look at the notes. And so I'm going to highlight this guy. And I'll say uh, add sibling to this. So a sibling is on the same level, and a child is a level down. Um, and uh, that uh, okay. zoning. I'm just going to stay here so I can see my scene cards. Uh, and then add a child, and we'll say. Um, so when I write these uh, things here, I'll say um, land is suitable, almost suitable, and uh, zoning needs to be changed and um, we need to do a environmental assessment before proceeding Am I getting that completely wrong? Yeah. What's me with me and the... Uh...
Okay, so now if I... So I've corrected it here, let's go back. Okay, so... Now say I'm looking at this, and I'm uh, thinking to myself, you know, uh, I should really put that environmental assessment thing first. Uh, I can write everything and then move this up here and uh, the paper is rewritten with, uh, uh, with these things in order. So, uh, and of course, uh, if I want to add notes on this particular section, I can do so here. And, you know, it says, uh, oh, here, uh, whoops, a uh, note card. If you have a really long, complex report, um, you can uh, use these uh, different colors here. And once uh, you have uh, completed that, you can toggle the card off, okay? So you've, uh, you've covered what needs to be covered. Uh, you can toggle that off. So in your planner, uh, you can uh, add all of the notes, add, uh, add sections and whatnot. Uh, actually, you can't. Uh, sorry, this is one of the things that uh, uh, bothers me a bit is you cannot add sections in here. You have to uh, go to the writer and uh, do your sections here. But in your sections you can add notes of things that need to be covered and as they're completed you uh, check mark them to say that uh, they're completed. Okay. Uh, this can also uh, be helpful if you have more than one person working on a report. Uh, so if uh, each section has a specialist in that area, uh, they can uh, tick off the points that are, uh, uh, are completed. Okay, lastly, we're going to uh, export. Um, I guess the best thing here is to export it uh, to Word. Okay, and... Um, Let's see. Here. And I'm going to call this report. Okay, now I have LibreOffice installed. Let's see how this comes up. Yes. Okay, now it has actually put a little um, uh, a little mark between each uh, section, which is very helpful uh, as far as our um, uh, our formatting goes. So I'm going to say yes, that's a heading one. This is going to be a heading two. This is going to be uh, a section break, and uh, you know we would have uh, different. Uh, uh, so let's say uh, considerations. Change that to heading two, and so on. So uh, this isn't a tutorial on uh, LibreOffice or Word or anything like that. But you go like this, and then uh, you can. Go file and export as PDF. And uh, depending on where uh, the file is going, uh, I should just point out that uh, if this is going to be a, um, an official governmental report, you may want to go over this PDF uh, stuff a little more uh, seriously. Um, uh, for example, uh, you may want to embed fonts. Okay, so export and this will go to 
going to do a patrick business, yeah. So we'll save that. And that's that. So uh, hopefully uh, this is somewhat helpful. Um, I know it's uh, kind of a quickie, but uh, uh, hopefully I can bring this up to the full screen. Okay. So uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, how to uh, use uh, a program like uh, WaveMaker to uh, um, organize your thoughts and uh, get that part out of the way and be able to just uh, pay attention to the writing. So um, make your sections. Within your sections, uh, uh, make a child for each point that needs to be covered in the section and uh, write the contents uh, for each child. Uh, when you're done uh, the entire report, go back and uh, uh, organize uh, the child elements uh, so that uh, the argument is uh, uh, in its best possible uh, form, and then uh, export uh, the document and uh, create your PDF in um, a word perfect, or, sorry, word, <laughs> Microsoft Word or uh, LibreOffice Writer or uh, whatever you have on hand. Anyways, in the meantime, have a good afternoon.